Hi friends! So yesterday I created these kind of dividers. Um, these are 12 dividers combined into one year. So every month is its own divider like you see here. This would be December. Um, for example, this is March. And I will quickly show you how you can create, print and cut out these dividers. So first open the create page and then select your planner size, for example the A6 size. And then on the left panel you can choose and select to create a divider. So down here under divider type um, select a top divider. And then next you will have to type in the amount of tabs you want to have on top here. Now one, now one year has 12 months, which means we will have to create a divider with 12 tabs. But I recommend you to have an extra space left here. So here is where you would have the holes. And instead of have the divider start right here, I recommend you to leave some space here and maybe choose to have 13 dividers like this. So now we have 13 dividers left and right. So the first one we will leave empty or we will cut it out. So I will just type in a slash and then the next one would be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October and December. Now the dividers I made only had the text written on front but nothing on the back. But if you want to have it on the back as well, you can just retype um, January till December on the left side here. Next, we will have to adjust the radius. Um, you can create round tabs like this or have it more squared like here. And then for the, for the size of the tabs, I think 0 0.25 inches should be okay. And it will look like this. This here is a 0 0.25 inch tab and it looks fine. So let's select that and here we go. So now you see that you have these boxes here which you want to delete or erase but you can't erase any widgets so what you have to do is click and apply an empty widget under MISC and apply empty widget then click and apply and click and apply like this. And here you go. So lastly, we just need to apply a pattern or a color if you want. So open the styling panel, then select a color. And down here you can apply any kind of pattern. For example, a gingham pattern like this. Now you currently see that the pattern ends where the tabs start and to pull up the pattern you have to click here on background on divider and it will extend you the pattern throughout the tabs. So everything looks fine now and if you like how it's looking right now you can click on export PDF and then generate PDF and then click on download. And here we have the front and back page of the divider. Now if you print this divider out, you should have something that looks like this. So if you print it out front and back, it should look like this. And you would cut out, and if you cut out the divider and also cut it in half, you will end up with two dividers. And since we are creating a divider or dividers for every month in a year, you will have to print out six pages in total like this and then cut it out and then also cut it in the middle and I will quickly show you how I did cut out the tabs up here because many have been asking so I'll be right back. Now what you see me do here is crossing out all months I will be cutting out with my paper cutter and this is just to um, have it easier for me and to not make any mistakes for example, this divider would be for April, so I would cross out all months from May to December and January till March. And I will make I would make the 
the same for every month as well as for example for June and then cross out all months and then next just cut out all the dividers and also cut them in half here you go and this divider for example will be for July so let me quickly show you how I would cut out the divider for July so put it under the cutting tool and then I would slide down the, the scissors of the cutting tool until it hits the end of uh, July of the July tab like here So you see, just be careful, you don't cut it through July, so just to the edge and then the other side as well. So you would um, slide down the scissors like this, there you go. And next we will have to take the scissors and then just cut it out with the scissors, the leftovers. And for the corners, I like to just um, cut out the edges like this. And here you go. And then just repeat this for every month and you will end up with 12 dividers for every month for the entire year if you have any questions feel free to message me on instagram or facebook anytime and i will try to respond to your questions as quickly as i can bye